Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Bosca, Professor and Vice Chair for Research in the Department of Radiology at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Today I'm going to be talking about our manuscript entitled Magnetic Resonance Imaging for Folic Acid Coated Magnetite Nanoparticles Reflects Tissue Biodistribution of Long-Acting Antiretroviral Cell targeting using receptor substrates provides improved specificity and longevity of nanoformulated medications. However, assessing biodistributions of nanomedications requires extensive pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic studies. In this work, we developed an alendronate coated superparamagnetic iron oxide particle suitable for conjugation to targeting ligands. We use this to track the bio, we used MRI track the biodistribution of the untargeted and targeted particles using folate as a targeting ligand. Folate targeted nanoparticles enhance entry and particle retention to the reticular endothelial system over the non-decorated polymers after systemic administration in their mice. This was further validated using MRI to determine the biodistribution of untargeted and folate targeted small magnetite antiretroviral combination, also known as SMART nanoformulations, using MRI. This platform will provide a rapid readout of the ability of targeting ligands to specifically direct nanoformulated medications to target tissues without the extensive pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics studies currently required. Superparamagnetic iron oxide particles, as shown in figure one, were then subsequently coated with PEG in order to increase stability and longevity of the particles. These PEG uh, moieties were then additionally coated with the targeting moiety of folic acid in order to differentiate between untargeted and targeted superparamagnetic iron oxide particles. Once the targeted and untargeted superparamagnetic iron oxide particles were formulated, stability was checked as shown in Figure 2. It was found that the, uh, the coated magnetite particles were stabilized and well dispersed in aqueous medium, and that the relaxivity was relatively high as shown in Figure 2D. Figure 3 demonstrates the stability of these particles over time and in various pH conditions was found that except for extreme high sodium chloride conditions, all pHs and all salinities were stable for up to two months. In order to measure the biodistribution of the magnetite particles, we maintained animals on a low folate diet for up to two weeks and then activated the animals with either injections of LPS or injections of nanoR. The images resulting from these studies can be seen in figure 4a. On the left are the untargeted animals. You can see the T2 star weighted MRIs pre and post injection, where pre injection has a normal signal intensity and 24 hours post injection has reduced signal intensity in the liver, spleen, and in some cases the kidney. It can also be seen on the right that that intensity change is more extreme with folate targeting. Following up to make sure that the imaging studies were giving us valid results regarding the folate targeting, we constructed nanoparticles that were filled with adizanivir and either folate targeted or untargeted. The results from these studies can be shown in Figure 5. Figure 5a we injected 50 milligram per kilogram of natoanazanivir or fully conjugated natoanazanivir and mice were sacrificed on day 7. The tissue levels of atazanivir were then measured in nanograms per gram in the liver and spleen. You can see that there's a significant increase beyond the 3 to 5 fold increase that we found at 24 hours indicating that not only was the folate responsible for increased uptake, but also increased retention in the liver, spleen, and kidney. A second experiment was then done 
in which animals were LPS activated with 5 mg per kilogram azanavir 24 hours before receiving 50 mg per kilogram of either untargeted or folate targeted nano azanavir. In this case, we can see similar results with an even greater increase in the difference between fully targeting and untargeting after 14 days. So in conclusion, we've been able to develop a platform allowing us to screen different targeting ligands using an MRI rapid readout method rather than extensive pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic analyses of the biodistributions of drugs. This will be useful in screening these different moieties in order to optimize the nanoparticles and optimize the coatings for targeting various cell types, both in HIV medications as well as medications for a variety of other diseases. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge all of my co-authors in this paper and thank them for their extensive help during this study, as well as acknowledging the University of Nebraska Foundation and the National Institutes of Health support of this work. Thank you.